Question 12. We have nine cards of which have the following letters and numbers on them as shown. Thomas is playing a game. Thomas takes one of the cards at random and keeps it. That's important because any future probabilities there will be one less card available. Um, Thomas then takes another random card and again keeps it. Uh, complete the following probability tree diagram. So numbers and letters are the way in which they're separating them here. The numbers in these cards, there are two numbers. So we have two out of the nine in total. And for letters, we have seven out of nine in total. Now, because of the fact that we are keeping the card, no matter which one of these choices we make, the probabilities in the second round are going to be out of eight. If we have gone down the first route here, we have chosen a number. That means that we now have one less number. One less than two being one. The seven numbers that started with, we still have. So it's seven. It's just out of eight for the second one because we have one less because one of the numbers was removed. Um, opposite, when we go down the other one here, we're going to remove one of the letters, turning that seven into a six like so. And the two numbers that we had to start with are still here. They then go in the top like that. Part B, work out the probability that each of the two cards has a number on it. So what we need here is the probability of getting a number and then another number. So we need to get a number on the first selection and we need to get a number on the second selection. And because of the fact that we have this and and then or both of them have to happen together, this gives us a multiplying sum, which will then get us our final answer. So the probability of getting that number the first time round is the two over nine that we have here. And the probability of getting it the second time round is that one over eight. So we have two over nine times one over eight, which will give us two over 72. And of course you can simplify that. You don't technically have to for a probability question, but um, one over 36 would be your fully simplified answer for that. Part C. Work out the probability that there will be one card with a number on it and one card with a letter on it. So you have this and again, so you're going to have multiplying going on when we look at the situation of having a number on it and having a letter two separate times. What we have to be careful of here is that there are two ways of getting this number and a letter. So there's two options here. You can calculate both of these separately. So for example, you could get a number and a letter. So number letter or number and letter. So we want to go down this route for starters. We also have um, the opportunity of getting a letter first and then a number going down this route, giving us L and N. Now technically what will happen here is that these probabilities are gonna end up being the same you could just do these manually separately and get your two answers and add them together, or you can find one of them and double it. It doesn't really matter as long as you're showing all your working clearly. Um, I'll show both methods here, right? So we have two over nine times seven over eight for number and letter. So we have two over nine times seven over eight for number over letter, which is gonna give us 14 over 72. That does simplify, but I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And then we have seven over nine times two over eight for number letter. 7 over 9 times 2 over 8, which will also give us 14 over 72. We're then going to add these together because of the fact that there's more than one option of doing it. Whenever you have more options, you have um, ors. Technically, we could have this method, number first, then letter second, or letter first, then number second. So we add these together to give us 28 over 72. And you can also simplify that to give you a 14 over 36. Or you could also simplify that to give you a 7 over 18. Any of these answers are going to be fully acceptable for our final answer. Of course, technically, the nicest looking one would be 7 over 18. Your calculator will simplify it for you. But either way, you're going to get the full marks. Done.